<laughs> Hello. Today I show you a very useful trick and or tip for Viswap. If you have a Viswap logic uh, or if you are developing a Viswap logic and you want to understand in a bit more detail what's going on, this tool can help you achieve that. What it does basically, I show you how to create an interface between your Viswap logic and Vizim. Basically, you can get data from your logic into Vizim during the run. It is totally different than debugging. Debugging also shows you where the logic is at the moment. But this one, you can actually bring data and move data. So what it really is, if you go to window, signal control detector record, select controller one, it brings up this empty sheet. You can customize it to show um, all kinds of things, <laughs> but can be used to bring data from Viswap. So to achieve that, you go to signal controllers, you select your controller that you use with web and you go to the third signal control detector uh, record configuration tab. As you can see on the left side, there are a lot of stuff. There is a cycle, second, empty column separator, all kinds of stuff. So let me just skip all of that and jump immediately here to the end and later I will come back and show you uh, how can you combine these to actually have a meaningful um, presentation, basically. So when you click variable, the variable number comes up here. As you can see from zero all the way to 999. So basically you have a thousand variables you can use. You can use these variables as a channel, basically, more like a kind of channel between Wisdom and Viswap. So you can set up a thousand different variables. You can transmit basically a thousand different data. So let's start with zero. <laughs> no, let's start with five. Why not? So variable, variable number is five. title and let's figure out what we want here i want to have the the green time green time for signal controller one or signal group one sorry okay so in variable number five i will have the green time from signal control signal group one i okay it then i come to visweb Um, I will add a new row. Of course, you can add anywhere, depending on what you want to get. So I create a, con a statement. Go to the functions. And here you have an output. Group. And here you have record value. I double click. So it brings up here. So number, record value number, this is the number you set up in Vizim. So five, that is your variable number. So I put five and then I add here what I want to extract. Here you need to use a variable name. So I'm going to use X. What I want to make sure is that before before this gets executed, I put what I want into X. How can you do that? So if I hit Control Enter, I add a new line, and here I can make, I can copy the data into X. So to assign any data into a variable, what you do is you put that. So not just the equal signs, but you have this double dot semicolon thing. And then here, 
you can go back to Bob for the functions and let's say signal group that is green time so I click here double click green time and it puts the function there and I put one because I want signal group one and I also need to put a semicolon there with the comma thing so what I do I created a new variable x I assigned this value the current green time for signal group one and I used the double dot semicolon and equal then in a new line I just put record value and first is the variable number you set up in Wizim and then x is the variable name you want to bring to Wizim that's fine I compile it yeah now if I come back to Wizim I OK it and I start running it. Okay. So what happens here? As you can see, there is green time SG1. So that basically the name I gave. And then you have a lot of zeros. So it's not very helpful, isn't it? You can't really see when and what's going on. So what I do, I keep customizing it. So if I go back here, instead of green time, I will put a shorter name. So GT, green time SG1. And I also put another underscore to add some stuff. <laughs> then there is this empty column. So what you do is you can basically build up um, a style here so i move this up this is in uh, these are all german origin words that's why it makes no sense um, when you use english then i add another one you can select it and then you can move up and down <laughs> there is simulation second So now, if I run it, as you can see, it now makes a bit more sense. So simulation second, 2.345, and then GTSG1. And if I keep running it, basically, now you can see exactly when that value is. Of course, you have a lot here. So... Um, what I want is I just want one number, so for one second. If you go to Visfab and you go to Web Parameters in the Compile menu, you can set the control frequency to 1. By default it is 1, so I just had 10 before. So by default it is 1, but you can put um, multiple stuff. There are some limitations, but um, do 1. You don't really want to do a lot because it wouldn't make sense anyway. <laughs> and if I run it now, oh, I didn't compile it. Okay. <laughs> and so the green time is zero. Because which one is SG1? I think this is SG1. So let's just see what happens. It becomes green. Now the green time is increasing. Then it is back to zero. So with this you can see that. But it can also do other things. So for example, if I put another row here and I put Y, <laughs> and I go back to the functions, functions, detector, you can check what is the occupancy time. Not here. For example, the occupancy time on detector number one. Let's do a headway as well. 
So let's put Z headway <laughs> on detector number one. And now I just create a copy of this detector value and that's going to be six and seven y and z so t green time occupancy headway <laughs> but we also need to set the same things up here to carry them over So six six seven and I just add an empty column. Move it down. And now this is this this occupancy. And then headway. Okay, this way. You can see the headway increasing. Occupancy. So with this, basically, uh, you can put like detection. You can, text, you can test what detection does, what occupancy rate does, what happens with the detectors. And then if you really don't know what's going on with your logic, why it doesn't go into it, you can just basically recreate these in a variable just before or in the same uh, bubble and extract it into Wisim. I think this is probably not something you would use all the time, but this is a tool that can do a lot. And let me just do one more thing here, the cycle second, which I wanted to show you. That in the models we I do with these web controls, you will see that there is no cycle second because we don't work with cycle second in such control. So if you ever wondered what's going on with these things as your logic runs, you can experiment a lot. You can place all kinds of logics. You can create all kinds of situations. And then you can just go here and basically test all these things. What is a front end? How can you clear the front ends? What is detection? Why detection always causes shoes and bugs? How can you set up not to cause it? What is occupancy rate, occupancy time, one tenth, vehicle length, velocity, cycle time, cycle seconds, active programs. There are lots of lots of stuff you can uh, you can extract and you can use in Visim to show. And then you can always process these later if you want, or you can just um, you know go and check what you need, what you need, find. Um, you can bring it out to another window to see more. So I hope I showed you something new and uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you have any questions. If you like and subscribe, that will help the algorithm promoting my videos. I would appreciate your help. And if you want to support in a different way, please visit my Patreon and uh, check uh, the options there for supporting the channel. Thank you very much for watching.